The archetypal bourbon cocktail has to be the mint julep. In fact, it's so important that the people of Kentucky ha actually have a, a mint julep season, which runs for about three weeks, where they do nothing but make bourbon mint juleps. But the interesting thing about this cocktail, that originally it wasn't even a bourbon drink. It was actually based on brandy. And so the way they distinguish between the two is you have a mint julep, which is bourbon, or you have a southern mint julep, which uses brandy. And I'm going to mix the southern mint julep for you now. We're going to start with a glass. No ice in the glass, but as ever, ice in the shaker and a good shake, a good scoop of ice. Give it a good fill. Then I'm going to take a sprig of mint, and I'm going to want to use all the leaves on this. I would say at least eight mint leaves on there. In fact, these are a bit small, so I'm going to take the top off there. Ended up with ten, but... 8 to 10 is just going to be fine. So you've got the mint in there now. Going to add the alcohol. The alcohol is brandy, as we mentioned. And that's about a shot and a half of brandy. So that's 35 to 40 mils. And then this. This is peach liqueur or peach brandy. And I want one shot of that. That's 25 mils. And that's going to add the peach flavor, but it's also going to add a certain amount of sweetness. Now, because it's a julep-type drink, we want to lift the sweetness a bit. So I'm going to add some sugar. Um, if I was making this as a, as a mixed drink with a pestle and crushing it, I would use granulated sugar. But because I'm just shaking the mint in, I'm going to use sugar syrup, equivalent to one and a half teaspoons, so somewhere in the region of seven or eight mil, but don't get too hung up about it. As long as you get in that region, that's fine. Now I'm going to put the cap on the shaker, give it a tap, and I'm going to give it a really good shake because I want to get the oils out of the mint, so I need to knock it about a bit. Okay, at that point, open it up. Let that drain back into the shaker. Ordinarily, I would take a strainer and keep the ice in there. But actually, for this drink, we want everything to go into the glass. So take your glass, no ice in there. But all the ice in here will go into that glass. And as you'll see, the mint has broken down into small pieces. And it brings us up to within about an inch. And that gives you the option to add a little more lemon juice. In this case, I'm going to add lime just to bring it up to the top, just to finish it off. And that's what we call the southern mint julep.